What's quackalacking guys, I'm a duck quack here and welcome back to our Road to R9 League SPC, whatever we decide to do with this series series. So I said at the end of the last episode I was going to do some more bronze pack method, I decided against it. I wanted to show you guys every single step. So all of those guys were the last four that we didn't list up last time, we're sitting on 23,600 coins. Now is when I'm going to start some bronze pack method. No, I didn't mean to open that pack. No, I was saving these. Oh, but we do get a Super League rare player. Sweet. Um, let's get back to the bronze packs. We didn't want to open those. We're trying to save those. We're trying to save those for a big silver two-player pack opening. Um, what was I saying anyway? Yeah, guys, just before we do jump into the video, I probably should have done this right at the start, but if you are enjoying the series, if you do find this useful, etc., etc., if you could drop a like, follow, subscribe, comment, whatever you guys do, it would be absolutely awesome. But for now, I'm going to jump into bronze packs, probably down to around the 10,000 coin mark. Then after we finish with that, we are going to probably cycle some more players into the bronze to silver upgrade system. And then after that, we might actually just jump in and open the packs. Or we may start on the profitable SPC list. I'm not 100% sure quite yet. Okay then, so we've, we've done a bunch more bronze packs. We're down to about 10k. And at this point, we could keep going with the bronze packs. We could keep doing that. But I kind of want to keep this series a little bit fresh. Keep, it on our, keep us on our toes, basically. So what we're going to start doing is some of the profitable SBCs. Now these can change from time to time. Sometimes they'll be profitable, sometimes they'll be inflated, sometimes they'll be really cheap, sometimes they'll be really expensive. But there is a list, I'll try and remember to leave the link down at the bottom in this video. And effectively what it does is it goes through the league SBCs and it picks apart the parts of each SBC that are considered to be profitable or worth doing. So for example, we're going to start with the Super League and work our way up them. The first one we're going to do is this one here, Basakshir. It gives you a premium Electrum players pack. So the pack's absolutely fine. And it's got an estimated cost of about 6k according to Footbin. Which if we if we had more time or if we were lucky or if we could snipe, we could get that down to about 5k hopefully. Now the one thing you need to remember that if you are doing any SBC, always just go into your club and check what you've got beforehand. So we've got a 60 rated bronze goalkeeper. Is that a kind of player we can get away with using? Do we need to get different players, etc, etc? So we're going to build a team around this, complete that SBC, open the pack, rinse and repeat a few. Maybe two, three, four of these in this episode, guys. So, nice and easy one to start off with then, guys. As I said, we were going to do Basakshi here. And I know I butchered the pronunciation. But the easiest way to build it is to come into the squad, build it here. Find yourself Super League, which I have a feeling is here. And then select the club that you're doing, obviously. Build squad. It costs us about 5,000-ish coins to do. We found a way that we could use that goalkeeper we had in the club as well. Easy, easy, easy. And to have a look at prices, nothing was stupidly expensive. The right mid, I think, was 900 coins. And that was the only kind of expensive player we got. The pack isn't sensational. It's not going to blow us away. The chances of getting anything huge in it is very slim. But it's a good enough pack. Because we need the silver players and the gold players along the way. Oh my god, a man of the match card? <laughs> oh yeah! Argentinian? Cam? Los Celso? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Okay, I can't really remember what else is in packs in terms of man of the match. But like I was saying, the pack itself carries a lot of benefits. In the sense of, we need silver players, we need gold players. This gives us both of them. So we're absolutely flying with that. But then when we get that tiny chance of something like this. Doesn't have to be anything absolutely ridiculous. But a card like this that sells for. Um, it doesn't actually sell for discard. So we could just quick sell that card. There's no point in keeping it right. I can't see any reason to keep it. We actually need coins. He's listed on mass. So he discards for 15,000. You can see how much is on the market for him. He's up for 15k. He doesn't sell for 15k. We are just going to quick sell him. 15k coins is huge for us. Absolutely huge. And then back to the same method of keeping everyone except for the players that we don't need. But yeah, guys, that's, that's how it works. It's simple. We go through the profitable ones. We catch more players for the club. It, in turn, we keep them in the club. We do more SBCs. It's, a, it's just a cycle we rinse and repeat through. And occasionally we get some kind of pack work like that. So I'm going to list up these two guys. Then we're going to do maybe one, maybe two more in Super League. I'll show you what we've done. I'll show you how much we spent. We'll open the packs. We'll keep doing this for a while now, guys. 
Okay then, so, so we have done another two. First up, we did Besictus. And as you can see, we're still sitting pretty on about 6,000 coins. So although we are kind of powering through them, if you like, in the sense of we've done three teams after this for one league, we're still being sensible enough with our coins. We've still got enough coins that we don't need to worry about anything, basically. That's Besictus that I completely forgot to show you how much we spent on that. Uh, let me make sure I show you how much we spent on Cenobashi. Besictus was actually fairly cheap. I think a little bit more expensive than um, Fenabashi was. Let me just check it. Fenabashi, I'm pretty sure, was cheaper than Besictus. But both of them overall, they were both fairly easy to do. Like, you can see we've still got a ton of coins left. We spent uh, 950 on one of the players here and 900 on another one. They were the two rare players we used. And apart from that, just so, so cheap. For both of them, I think we're getting a 25k premium gold players pack both times round. So we are absolutely stacked with the two packs we get here. We just got to hope for another board, basically. Another man of the match card would be incredible. Ah, blue. That's an inform, I think. That was really bright. Okay. England. I can't think of any good England players. Annoying. Annoying that it could have been like... Oh, who's ready in this team of the week that's huge? Oh, Gareth Bell. Gareth Bell would have been absolutely massive. Um, we'll list him. 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 We'll keep that. We'll list him. We'll list him. Okay, we'll send all of those to the transfer list. To list. We'll send those to the club. And then on to the second premium gold players pack. Yeah, Gareth Bell would have been absolutely massive for us. That would have been the big, big inform. But still, back to back like special cards. We got a man of the match card. Then we got an inform. We can't even begin to complain with that. Um, list those three. Keep, keep, keep. List, list, keep. List, list, list. Oh man, we're getting so many like uh, La Liga and Premier League players at the moment. That's fine, right? Let me go list all of that stuff up. Then I think we're going to do the last two profitable teams that I've got that I want to do for Super League at the moment. And then um, I think we'll probably end up having to wrap up the video before it gets too long after that. So let me sell these guys, get those next two done, and then crack on with those packs. Right, so we listed basically everything up, and I stupidly listed the inform, thinking like, okay, we'll get a couple of hundred more coins from this. And because I decided to list it, it hasn't sold quite as quickly as I'd want it to, and we're still basically waiting for that card to go, which kind of slows down our progress. I mean, we've got enough coins to do Galatasaray, as you can see here, and I'm really hoping that what we've got here is enough for rating. Okay, good. We are good. We are good. Oh, let me just show you what we spent again, of course. Uh, that was the keeper that we got first owner. Everyone else here, about 1,200 coins was the most we played for one of the centre-backs. But apart from that, it was fairly straightforward. And we're getting ourselves a prime Electrum pack. Now, the last team I wanted to do in here was... Uh, which was the last one I wanted to do? I think it was Osman Lizpaul was the last one, which gives us another one of those premium Electrum players packs, which I really like. That inform is just sold as well. So we are good to go do that after this Prime Electrum Players pack. Give us boards. Oh man, I really like those packs usually. The Prime ones and the Rare ones are ones I normally love. But I guess today it just wasn't meant to be our luck. Um, I wonder if he sells or anything. We'll keep him anyway. We'll keep all of those for now. Let me list up these two. Complete Osman Lispaw. Maybe one more. Open those packs and then I think we will wrap things up there, guys. Okay, okay, okay. The last one we did was Osman Lispaw. And that's the last one I think we are going to do from the Super League. So it seems like a very fitting time for us to wrap things up on this episode as well. Obviously, after we've opened this pack here. So we've got a goalkeeper that we pop in there and a centre back at left back should do the job let me show you the prices again very very cheap one for us to do a thousand was the most we had to spend on anyone and one for 950 as well gives us another premium electron players pack now if there's anything like the last one and we get some crazy pack luck or anything like that then we are flying even if it's a very average pack though we've still got a bunch of stuff listed on the transfer market no boards we're fine with that we had a bit of pack luck in this episode nothing huge but like that 15k was pretty damn nice um, we'll keep him, we'll keep him, we'll keep him, we'll keep, keep, keep. Ah, uh, Amons isn't great. Keep, keep, keep. We'll list up these guys. So, I'm going to list up these guys. That pretty much fills our transfer list, or at least not far off. And then when we get back for the next episode, I think what we're going to do is maybe rinse through those bronze players in our club, create some more silver upgrade packs, do a few more of these profitable SBCs, 
and then see where we stand. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.